I am a self-taught web developer and I work remotely and I earn more than average here in Norway. And in this video I will talk a little bit about how I got here and how you can do this too. Number one, start learning. If you haven't already started learning a programming language like Python, PHP or JavaScript yet, then I suggest that this is the first thing you do. There is no reason to wait. I would argue and say that there isn't necessarily anything wrong to learn or a wrong language to start learning. Let's say that you learn PHP and you actually know how this works and similar, you know how to build websites and integrate stuff and similar, then it will be much easier to learn something new like Python, Django or a framework or JavaScript and similar. Plus, you can use the stuff you have already learned anyways. I started out by learning ASP many years ago, then I switched to PHP and now I work as a full-time web developer using Django as my primary language or framework. When you have much experience, employers will notice this in your portfolio or CV. The ability to learn new technologies and similar is very important for most employers out there. It's usually more important that juniors or beginners are able and willing to learn and than what they already know when they come out of school or when they are self-taught and are new in the job. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to all of my patrons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link in the description below. Number two, build a portfolio or a big project. It's around 10 years ago since I got my first job as a web developer. I didn't have any experience or work experience to show employers when I applied for jobs. And luckily for me, I loved learning programming and building stuff. So I created a portfolio where I showed a couple of my projects that I have, that I have built. And this was actually live projects so that when I applied for jobs, the employers could go in and try them out and see what I have done, how things was implemented and similar. And one of the projects that got me noticed was a Norwegian version of freelancer.com, guru.com and similar. So I made a website where freelancers could sign in to find work and where companies could uh, uh, put out the work they wanted to be done and then find either freelancers or the freelancers could bid on the projects. So the site had a lot of functionality like reviews, communications, uh, payment gateways, search and similar. So even if I didn't have any work experience, I could still show employers what I knew. Because once you saw that website, you understand that there was a lot of technology behind the scenes. So that is probably my best advice to you. Try to build something you can show off in a portfolio. And one of the best tips is to probably build something like a CRM or other very big software where you can add a lot of functionality. So for example in a CRM there are almost endless possibilities for functionalities or features you can add. You can add authentication, teams, subscriptions and other tons of cool functionality. You can have API integrations and so much more. You can probably explore almost everything that Django has to offer. And the project doesn't have to be polished, it doesn't have to look perfect, but it has to work and it has to never crash or show that there are errors and similar. Number three, start applying for jobs. Since I didn't have any uh, education or similar, I had very low self-esteem when it came to my skills as a web developer. So I was really hesitating when I started to apply for jobs because I felt that I wasn't good enough to get that job anyway. So I was living in a city called Ålesund in Norway, but I decided that I wanted to move to Oslo, which is like eight hours away driving. I applied for a position in a company in Oslo as a PHP developer. And a while after I had sent the application, I got an invitation for an interview for a position there as a developer. And I thought, is it worth driving eight hours just to get disappointed by not getting the job? 
but I drove there with my wife and we took the chance. On the day of the interview I really wanted to cancel because I felt that I was such a crappy developer and I thought I would never get the job anyways. But luckily for me my wife motivated me to go in the door and take the chance and just hope that I get the job. And then 30 minutes into the interview the boss offered me a full time position as a web developer. And of course I said yes and now I was finally a full time programmer. So with no education, I finally got a job that I loved and that I wanted to go to every day. I know the situation is different in many other countries, but just give it a try. Build a portfolio and start applying for jobs. You can even find remote jobs online. Anyways, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you want more content like this, you need to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.